Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I appreciate you all so, so very much. Today I am recording and recording and recording again because I have family coming into town and I really want to make sure that I still have videos able to go up to you guys if I don't get a chance to record so much. Today I am doing a project pan update and this is the update for I think it's my fifth or sixth update. I can't remember exactly. I think there was one month on there that I didn't do an update so I'm going to say this is my sixth update. I could be wrong. On that project pan it is a rolling project pan. I did roll in to the project at the beginning of the year 11 products. I have since finished 11 products in the time that I have been doing this project pan and as I completely finish up or you know hit my goal on a product I do roll in another product so let's get into the nitty-gritty of it these are the first five products these rolled in at the very beginning of this project pan and they remain in the project pan I think in the beginning I did have these two in the project pan to just hit pan on but as you can see I have hit pan and I just have kept them in because I do just want to finish them up I mean I would I would love to finish them these two <sighs> Even though I've used the poop out of them, you just really can't tell. So I think that they're probably going to go nowhere. <laughs> I will not hit pan in either of these items. I am certain of it. But we have here Cute Alert, which was 0.1 ounces at the beginning of this project. It still rings in at 0.1 ounces, even though I've used quite a bit of it. Um, then we have this one here in the center, which is Ringer. And it rang in at 0.1 ounces when we started this. It also had zero pan when we started this. And it still rings in at 0.1 ounces. I do have pictures I will show you. And then we have this one, which is uh, locked and loaded. All three of these are ColourPop shadows. Again, this one rang in at 0.1 ounces. It still rings in at 0.1 ounces. It had no pen when we started, and obviously now it does. These are both Ofra. This is an Ofra blush in Winter Rose, and this is an Ofra highlight in Rodeo Drive. I have used them a ton of times, and you just cannot tell. So this is the um, where they're at currently, and on the screen also you should see where they were um, when I started taking pictures of them. And then hopefully also a screenshot of where they were at the beginning of this so you can hopefully see some of the work that's been done on these products. I know that Ringer, that middle, the middle shade in this palette, I have tag teamed also as a highlight. It is the highlight on my skin today. I think it is really just a beautiful highlight in addition to a really pretty shadow so I use it a lot in my brow bone my inner corner I also use it a lot as a highlight on my face uh, the locked and loaded shade the one down at the bottom here I use that quite often to set like a primer if I'm gonna set a primer cute alert it kind of has changed colors since the first time I was using it it uh, really acts more like a brown now a red tinted brown in my eye looks and I, I can't say that I love it so I've kind of slacked off on using it but I really do want to get more usage out of it before I toss it so there's that the next thing in my project is this it is the MAC stereo rose this is a limited edition the MAC skin finish that is a beautiful blush a just a really beautiful blush and it's super sad that you can't get it anymore and that I do have it in my project pan but this is what it looks like currently and on the screen you should also see a picture of where it was. It rang in at 1.9 ounces in the beginning, it rings in at 1.9 ounces now, but hopefully with the pictures you guys will be able to see that there actually has been quite a bit of usage with this product. The next thing is this um, Hourglass Diffuse Light. This is one of their ambient lighting powders and was using it an awful lot and I don't think I've used it an awful lot over the last month. But this guy rang in at 0.9 ounces in the beginning and it actually rings in it more right now. 1.0 ounces, I'm not sure why. 
but this is what it looks like currently and it doesn't look a whole lot different than what it looked like at the beginning but there should be a picture there for you to see as well the next product is this it is the juice beauty green apple brightening gel cleanser juice beauty is not my favorite I did put this in so that I could just kind of get it out of my collection when we started it was full to here this is where it was in the last update this is where it is at currently it did ring in at 2.5 ounces then 2.2 ounces and now it sits at 1.7 ounces so I'm actually thinking that this lineup here is probably a little further down than that but who knows I can barely see it these days through this so I'm not the lighting just isn't right in this room right now the weight does tell you the story on this I have been using this an awful lot I don't like juice beauty uh, I don't like the smell of it what I will say about this one is it does have a really nice green apple smell to it so I do kind of dig the smell to this one but I'm not a fan of the product that one hopefully will be gone within the next couple months then we had the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. You guys, how can I remember to use this? Like, how can I? I'm going to put some on right now. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. I cannot, for the life of me, fathom why I cannot remember to use it. it might be because I'm not out and about as, you know, I'm not out and about. So I just don't think to put on like lotions and stuff like that as much as I maybe was in the past when I was out and about so much. Also when I did put it in my purse, but when I go places, I hardly ever take my purse anymore. I honestly just take my wallet, had some problems with my shoulder. I'm trying to get my shoulder better and to do that, I can't carry around this giant purse that I have. So I've just been taking my wallet. So I need to remember to use this. This legitimately that you just saw was the first time I've used it since I put it into this project. It was 2.1 ounces last time, 2.1 ounces this time, 2.1 ounces when I rolled it in. I just want it gone before the end of the year and I maybe need to put a different timeline on that. <laughs> so the products that we rolled in last time were the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and the Smashbox Contour. They are both in these little jars because I just reused the last It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye for the Smashbox Contour. I have used this quite a bit since we rolled it in. It was 0.7 ounces previous to this. It is 0.7 ounces still. But hopefully I've got a picture for you of what it looked like prior. And this is what it looks like today. I don't think that we're going to see a lot of progress with this because it is just a cream product. You barely have to tap your brush in to get it. But the goal is to have this gone by the end of the year. And then the last product was the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And this had a small amount of product left in it when I rolled it in. You guys will see the picture. But this is what it looks like now it is completely empty so I'm super excited to have another empty product in this project so with that being said I am gonna roll in because I do see a lot of potential for being done with some of the other products in this so I just want to roll in something that's not going to take me a whole lot of time to get through this was something that was in my Simply Sample series. It's not my favorite concealer. It's not. But I do want to get it off of my vanity. So I am going to roll it into this project so that I will be reminded to utilize it. I have utilized it the last couple days uh, for certain parts of my makeup look. And I just want it. I just want it gone. I don't like Tarte Shape Tape. I'm probably one of the only ones on the planet that doesn't like it. But I am going to roll this guy in. This is just a little tiny uh, deluxe sample size that I got in an Ipsy and it does weigh in at 0.5 ounces. I don't know how that's even possible. A, a good share of that has got to be the container because I can't even fathom this being 0.5 ounces of product, especially since it says it's 0 0.03 ounces of product. I don't know. So it's really, it's, yep. 
so we'll hopefully just see this go bye bye within the next couple months I do think that within the next couple months I can have quite a few of these products gone if I really lean into them the way I want to so um, there's that so that's my uh, project pan update for July I think it is number six Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Are you project panning? How is your project pan going? Is it a rolling project pan? Is it like just a number of items project pan? I would love to hear your project pan stories. And if you have a project panning channel out there, please let me know. I would love to come and watch your videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hopefully you liked this video enough that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. Hopefully you also liked it or me enough you're considering subscribing to my channel before you go. If you subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to hit that notification bell. I do upload content three to four times a week, depending on the week, and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Hitting that bell is going to assure that you don't. Please leave me some something some feedback some something down in the comments section i love the interactions that i get to have down there with the people that watch my videos please be safe <laughs> please wear your mask if that's what you're being asked to do or definitely social distance because that's what the whole nation's being asked to do or the world <laughs> as we know it these days please be kind just be kind to everybody out there like we all need it right now like everybody's going through some stuff right so be kind to those that you come in contact with and if you come in contact with do it from afar <laughs> love each other always from afar anyways thank you guys so much for joining me today and until next time bye guys <laughs>